Sam Bradford, Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray, Jalen Hurts. You know what this is. It's a list of some of the most legendary names at quarterback for the Oklahoma Sooners in recent memory. In five years, will we be adding another name to this list? More specifically, will Jackson Arnold be the next great Oklahoma quarterback? It's hard to not start thinking like this, especially with the way that Sooner fans are talking. It seems like the word generational talent is overused in modern day college football because it is. Every year, there's supposedly five of them, which is absolutely impossible. But if Jackson Arnold is as good as advertised, so good that a five-year starter, Dylan Gabriel, got up and hit the portal, there is no doubt he can elevate the Oklahoma offense and develop into a program-changing QB. But in order to fully understand Jackson Arnold, we must relive his full story to see how he garnered all this hype. In this video, I'll be looking back at what shaped Arnold and also taking a glimpse into how he'll perform into the 2024 season and beyond. If you're new, I'm Saturday Shenanigans and I post three college football videos every single week all off-season to keep you guys entertained. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the best family in college football. And also, real quick, in the comments, let me know your predictions for 2024 Oklahoma in the SEC and also Jackson Arnold. Jackson Arnold was born in Atlanta, Georgia, but he moved to Denton, Texas well before his high school football career when he was only 10 years old. As we know, Texas is renowned for its high-level football. It can either make you or break you, and Arnold was soon going to figure out which one it would be. He attended Geyer High School starting in 2019 and was set on playing quarterback. In most stories you hear about elite prospects, they end up becoming the starter as a freshman on their high school varsity team and never look back. However, this was not the case with Arnold. For his freshman and sophomore year, he was patient and played the role as backup to future Texas A&M recruit and now New Mexico State Aggie four-star Eli Stowers. During his freshman season, he only saw the field twice, attempting 12 passes in total. But what you might not know is that these 12 passes were extremely crucial. During the state championship game, Stowers got injured on the opening drive, and as a young freshman, Arnold had to come into the game and do the best he could. Of course, it went how you'd expect for a first-time QB playing in a state title game. He didn't play well. Geyer lost 24-0 in the 6A Division II state championship game against Austin Westlake. But this experience and grit as only a 15-year-old would pay off later. Next year in 2020, he saw the field a little bit more late in games. He went 15 of 26 with two rushing touchdowns, and Geyer was out to get its revenge this season, but they came up short again in the state semifinals. 2021 comes around, it's junior season, and it's Jackson Arnold's time to shine. He was given the keys to the offense from head coach Rodney Webb, and he had came a long way from that ninth grader under the bright lights of the state title game a few years back. Arnold absolutely balled out, putting the entire state on notice with over 3,900 passing yards, 34 passing TDs to only 5 interceptions, and he showed his ability to extend plays with 600 yards on the ground to go along with 12 rushing TDs. Yet again though, Geyer was the runner-up in the state title game. He was already receiving offers before the season, but after this is when they really started to flood in. Ohio State, Florida, Alabama, Penn State, LSU, and more were all calling his name. He was rated a consensus four-star recruit with a lot of upside. Ultimately, he decided to stay relatively close to home and commit to play in Norman for the Oklahoma Sooners shortly after the conclusion of the 2021 season. Although head coach Lincoln Riley had just left to USC, Arnold had formed a close relationship with new head coach Brent Venables. He was poised to fill the shoes of all the great Oklahoma QBs that came before him. Somehow, after all of this success, Jackson Arnold took it even further, cementing his name as one of the top quarterbacks in the class of 2023 and a name to be reckoned with at the next level. During the Elite 11 camp in the summer of 2022, he won the tournament's MVP over names that you'd recognize today like Oregon's Dante Moore and Boise State's Malachi Nelson. For those unfamiliar with the Elite 11, it's the highest level quarterback competition for rising high school seniors. It takes place in the offseason. Recent notable winners include Caleb Williams, CJ Stroud, Justin Fields, and more. After this, there was a lot of buzz regarding Jackson Arnold's rating going into the 2022 senior season. Arnold was reevaluated and rated a five star prospect heading into 2022, his senior year. He was the number one QB in the state of Texas, number four overall, and the 10th ranked high school recruit in the class of 2023. According to Gabe Brooks, a 24 7 sports scouting analyst, Jackson Arnold, quote, projects as a high major starter for multiple years with a long term NFL draft ceiling, end quote. He did not let anyone down that season. He threw for over 3,400 yards. 33 passing touchdowns to only two interceptions. Wow. He also really showcased his legs and athleticism with 900 yards on the ground and 24 rush TDs. He led his team, Geyer, to the state semifinals, but they couldn't get that elusive championship. But that's what you have college for. Arnold racked up many accolades at the end of the 2022 season, including the Landry Award for being the top player in the Dallas area and also the Gatorade National Player of the Year. Another interesting fact about Jackson is that he maintained a 4.5 weighted GPA all throughout high school. Congratulations. That's a great feat. Skip ahead to 2023 
three, his freshman season at Oklahoma, Jackson Arnold was competing to be the starting QB for OU against veteran Dylan Gabriel. Of course he was going to sit here and develop, that was the plan. The plan was actually for him to redshirt, but unfortunately due to a Gabriel injury, Arnold had to unexpectedly step into a game against BYU after he had already made fourth quarter appearances in four contests. Long story short, he burned his redshirt year. He wasn't asked to do much in this game against BYU, he went 5 of 9 passing in a win. His first experience in 2023 was his best though, and he got a lot of fans excited for the future. On September 2nd against Arkansas State, he went a perfect 11 for 11 passing and a touchdown. On December 28th in the Alamo Bowl against Arizona, it was announced that Arnold would get his first career start as Dylan Gabriel jumped at the opportunity to hit the transfer portal. Some speculate that this is because Gabriel knew he would have to make way for Arnold in 2024. Others say this is not true at all. Either way, this was a massive opportunity for the freshman. On the surface, he didn't play well, going 26 of 45 with 361 yards, two touchdowns, and three big interceptions. However, he did show some flashes of greatness, but they were overshadowed by big mistakes. Keep in mind, he was facing a great Arizona Wildcat defense in his first start. Do you guys remember what happened in his first appearance in high school? Oh yeah, look how that turned out. This was definitely a huge learning moment for Jackson and a chance to get his feet wet on a big stage. He received a fair amount of hate on social media, but come on, it was his first start. The Oklahoma Sooners are heading into a pivotal 2024 season with new beginnings in the SEC. They want to prove that they're still an elite program in college football with the ability to reach the playoff. Their schedule is going to be absolutely brutal, highlighted with road games against Tennessee at LSU, along with their Red River rivalry with the top 10 Texas, and on top of that, an upcoming Tennessee team, a stacked Ole Miss, Bama, there's no explanation for that one, and even a tough non-conference against a stellar group of five team in Tulane. All of this with a quarterback who has started one game in his young career. If Jackson Arnold can navigate this treacherous schedule with leadership ability on and off the field, there is no doubt in my mind he can be the next great in the rich history of Oklahoma quarterbacks. Only time will tell. Thank you guys so much for reaching the end of the video. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the best family in college football. I've been Saturday Shenanigans, your home for unfiltered college football content, and I'll see you guys soon.